Hi friends, today we are going to see how to create a model of sphere gear in Katia. For that purpose, we have to open Katia by clicking on Katia icon. After opening up this Katia icon, we have to go mechanical design and then part design. Then we have to give, give a name to the, that part gear. After this, we will get this icon of the Katia for drawing a model of <coughs> spur gear. We require the gear specifications. For that purpose, we have to know, we should know <coughs> the base circle diameter of the gear, then pitch circle diameter, then addendum circle diameter of the gear, dead end dump circle diameter of the gear, face weight, model, pressure angle, that value, all value we should know. For the that purpose, I have taken one example of the gear in that number of teeth of the gear is denoted by a letter Z, its value. Require parameters of the gears are here, the number of teeth that is denoted by letter Z, the value of number of teeth is 26, model that is m four points high pitch circle diameter that is given by that relations clearance circle radius addendum circle radius dead and dumb circle and pressure angle that is 20 degree which is the universally accepted and that is i have also taken for the this model of the gear for that purpose <coughs> we have to open that cati icon we have to select uh, any plane i will select that yz plane I, and then I am going to the sketch here. Then I will draw a two circles. One circle is the pitch circle of the gear, and another circle will be the. I have to draw a pitch circle radius and a clearance circle for that purpose. See here for the given here i have taken i have calculated the pitch circle radius by this formula and that is 58.5 pitch circle radius is 58.5 and the clearance circle radius is 54.99 for that purpose i will take i will give the dimension to that circle Each circle radius of this circle is 58.5 and next each circle radius um, clearance circle radius is 54.99 as per requirement I have drawn it then this gear is gear has a pressure angle 20 degree for drawing in bullet profile I have to take a 20 degree angle in between these two lines because our gear has a pressure angle is 20 degree our gear has a pressure angle 20 degree so I will draw a 20 degree pressure angle gear see here in that figure the angle between this angle between this center of this teeth to the that center is the 360 divided by n i want to take that much angle for taking that much angle i have to divide that this part into four parts that that will be 360 divided by 4 n n is the number of teeth which will be taken for the, the that spur gear that angle i have to calculate 360 divided by 4 n because i will create the profile from the that um, addendum circle to the dedendum circle that addendum circle diameter to the dedendum circle diameter that theta angle will be 
taken from here to here that will be the 360 divided by 4 m that purpose i have to calculate that that will be the 360 divided by 4 into number of teeth number of teeth i have taken for this gray is the 26 and then that angle will be the 3.46 for this sector then for drawing that profile for drawing the involute profile i have to do one construction here after doing construction i have to take the center is this point and the radius of this circle is that much here to here then see here always this gear profile will be in between that addendum to the addendum in between that circles that two circles so i have to draw the profile in between the addendum circle to the addendum circle so now i have no use of that uh, pitch circle and the clearance circle so i will hi hide that two circles with the help of that con construction then then i will draw the our two circles circle that is the addendum circle and addendum circle so addendum circle radius is already we have um, taken the addendum circle radius is 63 and dead and dumb circle radius is the 52.875 that is calculated from that relations uh, that relation we will take from that the geometry our involute profile will be in between the um, addendum circle and dead and dumb circle for that purpose i have to that the, that two circles see here i will draw the addendum circle and dead and dumb circle First, I will draw addendum circle. Addendum circle radius is the 63. We have calculated by the empirical relations. Then second, we have to draw the dedendum circle. The radius of the dedendum circle is the, we have calculated here. That will be the 52.875. Now, see here the required part of the profile. I will keep and another part of the data profile will delete. then now here the semi involute is created here semi profile of the teeth is created here that i have to mirror with the help of the mirror command for that purpose i have to select that profile that will be the symmetric about this then see here the, we have successfully created the involute profile of the tooth now see here we have to extrude this gear gear is the created here i will take the face width of the gear is the 50 now here the one teeth is created now the next operation on that this model is the array command with the help of that array command i will select the i want to do array of that 
truth about this axis this axis with the x so i will select the x axis so here the array is activated here now i will take the crown complete crown option from here and number of i will take the number of teeth number of teeth i have already taken the 26 so as per requirement i will take here 26 and i will see the profile so our gear is generated here successfully here so our gear is created here now i will uh, draw the hole for this gear because the gear will that gear will be the fitted on the shaft i have to take i have to give the dimension to that hole 20 mm and with the help of the pocket command I will create the hole see here we have the successfully created a gear here now see here if you want change the color of this part I have to go to the properties then I have to go to the graphics then I can change the color of the gear also apply by this procedure you can also create by property option we can change the color various colors can be given to the that model so here if you want to increase the transparency of that model that is also increased with the help of that property option so here <coughs> transparency we can increase by sliding this option so here transparency here can be created here if you want to reduce that transparency keep here zero transparency and apply then actual model will get here thank you for watching this video if you like this video you can subscribe and like this video thank you